you and I just talked about the ideal kind of person that you want to have in your life and how frustrating it is that it's hard to find these people, it's hard to get close to these people, and it feels like whenever there is someone who is like that, there's something that sits between you and them. So let's work on that right now, and we're going to work on it through the body. So think about that idealized person. Think about some, whether it's somebody you've already met or just sort of a perfected version of them or a conglomerate person who represents the kind of person that you want as your person, the person you really want to have in your life, the person you really want to have close to you. And so what I'm going to invite you to do right now is consider that there is something inside of you that keeps being unconsciously gratified by the fact that they are not close to you, that they're not in your life. There are fears that need to be welcomed, and uh, I'm going to suggest that we start to activate them and that you irreverently pursue them, that you welcome the fears. If they make you tremble, if they make you tingle, if they make you sweat, if they make you uh, feel sick inside, you want to welcome them into your awareness and let the feelings start to transform. So go ahead and think about that person over there. Don't let them necessarily uh, see you all the way but go ahead and imagine what keeps them from being able to be close to you. If you have to have them looking right at you to activate those feelings, great. Have that happen. Now, is there a barrier between you? Is there something inside that is trying to repel or push them away? Is there something else like that? Go ahead and look for the shape of it, how thick it is, whether it's inside your body or between the two of you. And as you touch into the feeling of that thing that sits between you and them, uh, notice what the worry is. And honestly, the worry could be just about uh, anything that might come up. Is the worry, I'm worried they're going to see me for who I really am? Is the worry that they're going to see who I am and leave me? Is the worry that they're going to put demands on me that I'm not going to be able to meet? And ultimately, either they'll leave me or I'll leave them. Regardless of what it is, your job is to irreverently pursue the feeling. Don't just stay with the content. The content isn't enough to heal you or transform your inner experience. I'm going to invite you to let the worries come up in whatever words or images or thoughts emerge and pursue the feeling doggedly. Pursue the feeling looking for anything awkward, wrong, sad, angry, fearful. And as long as you can tolerate it, bring it up, welcome it. Tell your defensive processes that start trying to quell it, oh no guys, we actually need this to actually course through our bodies and we're going to be able to handle this. If you're not able to handle it in the exercise, but your job right now is to pursue it deliciously, irreverently, like, you, like you're drinking something that tastes bad for the purpose of knowing that it's going to make you feel so alive inside. Keep doing it. Keep breathing with it. Let it heat, let it tremble, let it cry, let it do whatever it does. And you're going to win, and you're going to come out on top. And you're going to stop keeping yourself from the people that really belong in your life.